Okay. Again, thanks everybody for coming. Uh, just love that we're uh, here on number webinar number 35 of this uh, of this series so far this year. We're gonna, as, as I've mentioned in the past, and I know all of you got a uh, an update on it. We're gonna we're gonna run these at least through the end of August, and uh, and see where we are at that point. But uh, pretty pretty happy with uh, you know the 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 feedback that we're getting, that people are getting good value of from, from these. And, uh, and then of course the, the recordings that go out onto YouTube, you know, within an hour or so of us being done has been uh, very valuable for a lot of folks as well. So as long as we continue to get the value, uh, you, you guys as users get the value, we're going to continue to do these. So keep that in mind. The, um, uh, today, we're going to talk about uh, Ray Studio 3 analysis, more info on the public beta version. We promised, uh, Emiliano did, and we did, that uh, we were going to do these regularly. Uh, we didn't know if it was going to be four weeks or three weeks or, you know, um, or, but uh, we're allowing the the feedback that we get to to drive that. And uh, and we've gotten enough feedback, made some changes in the beta. There's a new beta version that's available to you if uh uh, after this webinar, if you go out, maybe you've, some of you have already done it this morning before uh, before coming to the webinar. There's a new version. It's uh, 0.08 is the is the last two digits that uh, have a few bug fixes that we're going to talk about a little bit today. So, um, uh, so we will continue to do these. We have another one planned in another you know two or three weeks in that time frame. Uh, so keep that in mind that uh, we'll just continue to 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 improve the program and uh, and then answer questions and continue to throw out uh, some new ideas and, and new ways to use the the software so let's talk uh, real, real briefly about um, um, you know what to, so let me do that there we go that should there we go Let's do a quick introduction. Uh, you know, it's, uh, Emiliano has been here with us a couple of times already. He, this is a, his third uh, co-hosting role here with us. He, he did, um, of course, uh, two or three weeks ago, we did the, the public uh, debut of the, of the beta. And then he also was a co-host with the, the sim racing when, uh, when we added that capability to, uh, to Race Studio 3 and, and uh, being able to grab data from all your racing sim systems. So, um, Emiliano's here for his third time. We appreciate him. He's been here at almost every uh, webinar, e either here with us uh, right up front or in the in the back, you know, helping to answer questions and chats and and uh, and and helping like uh, Cameron and Robinson and Robbie uh, will be here and and uh, doing right now for us as well. So I appreciate that, Emiliano. Just a little bit about yourself and uh, and, and where we're going to go, and then we'll jump into the uh, into the the meat and potatoes of our of our presentation today. Okay, uh, first of all, I want to thank uh, everybody for being here and thank you for having me here. Uh, I've been a, a developer in, for the last uh, 20 years. Uh, my, my, my passion for, for motorsports uh, starts uh, when, when I was a kid. And uh, my main job is developing the analysis software for, for AIM. I developed uh, the Race View 2 analysis and, uh, and now I'm, I'm, I'm after the race to the three analysis. What else? <laughs> yeah. Nothing. Uh, nothing more about me. Uh, I'd say. Uh, let's uh, let's show what uh, what's in the software. Let's move it's on. More one, interesting for people. <laughs> one thing that I I would like to add, and I think I mentioned it one time in the in, in the in the last one of these. Emiliano is a uh, is while while he's while he's uh, in. Italy and and I, I don't get to see him at the track. He he does visit the track a lot and um, he again the, he has the passion for motorsports. But then he's also out there looking at you know helping users in the field. And uh, I know every time he's ever come here to the states, we we've had him out at uh, at NHRA drag races. We've had him at off road races. We've had him out in the desert for the Mint 400. We've had, you know he's uh, he's uh, he's enthusiastic about all forms of motorsports and learning more so he can do uh, an even better job of this as well. So it's just pretty cool. I do. I think I think that uh, helping uh, people at the at the at the track side uh, helps me understanding how how the software is used and uh, how to, to improve it. I think most people would think that there's a, a disconnect between the you know sometimes folks that do what you do. And, and the real life and, and for have for you to be uh, not only out there doing that but enthusiastically doing that I think is a, is a real positive thing so I do appreciate that the um, let's talk a little bit um, I'm going to give control of the mouse over to to Emiliano he's got some 
there, we had a, an hour last time or so, even a little long, but we had an hour or so and, and it was important to Emiliano and of course the success to get a lot of information um, out uh, about some of the basics and and uh, and with that we had to we had to filter out uh, and not be able to show you everything that uh, was probably going to be important to you. So Miliano is going to go through eight or ten slides here and uh, and show you just the next few steps. Uh, had somebody that mentioned early on, hey, you know, how about some of the basics? Well, you were now we're going to talk a little bit about. Uh, kind of a step back, talk about some basics, some things some of you may be fighting and not understanding as you're using it or or haven't been able to do certain things. We're going to talk a lot about a lot of those things. So uh, I'm mm -hmm. going to give remote control over to Emiliano of the mouse. Remember, Emiliano, you got to click once and then everybody can see the mouse on the screen and then you can okay. point. There you go. Go ahead and uh, and talk about uh, the first slide we're going to talk about is changing the analysis layout from uh, from the standard way when you first open a test. Yeah. This is this is the default layout that uh, gets open when you when you open a, a session for a, one of, one or more sessions for for analysis, and uh, the default layout is uh, is with the time distance plot here with the with the storyboard the bar on the on the bottom, and with the channels list basically on the on the left uh, in the left part of the of the screen. Uh, the, this default layout that we call time distance uh, layout uh, is uh, featuring uh, a movie window on the on the right. If you open a session that it's, that's uh, that's linked uh, to to videos, and uh, is without that uh, that video screen. If you open a session that that is not uh, that has no no video link. Uh, this uh, this is the default layout. As every other layout, I think uh, we can show in the next slide. Uh, okay, it's coming. Yep, it, okay. it's already there. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Little delay. The, this this uh, this window, as all the other windows uh, that's uh, that's are that are in the in the analysis, can be can be Please modified uh, as you wish. Uh, can be modified. By by moving this uh, splitter window, uh, it's it's a splitter bar that uh, when you when you go over over it with uh, with a cursor, you will see a, a double uh, a double arrow showing you that you can uh, you can resize it. You can uh, drag and drop uh, the the splitter in the position you you wish, and uh, the the window is uh, it's uh, resized. We will show reason. it uh, in a, in a in a few minutes. Uh, directly into the into the software perfect yeah. perfect yeah that one of the complaints not one of the the feedback that i got personally was you know that darn video window is too small the way it opens up and they didn't realize that you could do that so we'll dem demonstrate that uh in the live yeah, data sure. in just a moment mm -hmm. sure 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 uh the windows can be can be resized and uh, you can modify uh, the content of the of the layout window you just need if you want to maybe add or remove uh, remove a window and i will show in uh, just in a in a second other other slides that are demonstrated you can right click into any of these windows into the to the channels list, into the map, into the main uh, main time Whoa. distance plot, into the videos. You can right click uh, in it, and uh, a pop up menu will, will be prompted to you, uh, purposing you to add a, um, to add a new window, to remove or, or to change it. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna show it uh, right now. Let's pop up um, the, the movie the movie window. That's uh, it's available by, by default in the, the analysis part. Uh, this uh, movie window, we want, uh, suppose we want to add uh, to add here. I, I hope the, the mouse cursor is, uh, is visible to, to you it all. It is, yep, we so, are seeing so, it. Okay, uh, suppose we want to add here a time distance uh, window specific for, for this part. So we, we just have to uh, right click here in the, uh, over the movie. Uh, choose from the pop-up menu, choose the add window and uh, choose the, the bottom position. Uh, and uh, if you if you do this, uh, yep. a that new window will be will be added automatically by, by the software and you need to, to choose in this one. In this new window you will see two buttons. 
uh, one one is to 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 go back to the to the previous uh, to the previous window in case you you made a mistake, and the other one is the choose button. If you hit the if you click the choose button, a new window will be prompted to you in uh, that uh, in, in which you will be able to to choose which uh, which window you want to add there. Uh, if you choose the time distance uh, window, the the result of what you you choose is uh, shown here in this uh, in this slide. You will be having here a time distance uh, window in which you can move the cursor uh, and uh, see the, the the movie uh, change in order to in order to to be placed at the frame that uh, that is referenced by by the by the cursor. Perfect. Perfect. Uh, okay. Let me go to the to the other to the other slide. We are we are going to we are going to uh, to show this uh, this uh, procedure into the directly into the software just in a few seconds. Uh, once you modify once you modify a layout window, you can uh, hit the top uh, left uh, corner uh, settings menu and. Uh, Select the save profile from the from the pop-up menu, and uh, this profile will be saved for for future uh, for future uh, analysis. I mean, uh, if you if you close this uh, this session and you open another one, the profile will be prompted to you exactly as you as you saved it. So very similar to user profiles now, just a slightly different way of saving them, and and I think they're more powerful now too. But but uh, they uh, you. you that's the button where you would go do your 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 save your your saver yep. uh, unlock profiles. Yep. Okay. okay. Let's let's move to the other to the other. And by slides. the way, Emiliano, before you move on, mm -hmm. the, the, those 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 first four or five slides were 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 some things we really did want to talk about before just the basic moving around of. And I know we went by it quick. Yep. We're gonna we're still gonna try to fill it in, a lot into today. So if you if if you're watching this and you and you and you didn't keep up with a couple of small things he talked about, please 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 keep in mind that it's always good to to in, within an hour the the video will be up on YouTube and you can go back there and slow it down and and go back and okay what did he say exactly so that, so don't uh, you know we we are gonna continue to go fairly fast but always expecting that you have a chance to go back and take a look so yeah we okay. would like to be fast on these uh, on these slides just to use the the, the real software in a, in a minute yep. and we are we are introducing here only the only the, the things that we didn't we did not speak about in the in the last webinar so uh, probably my invitation is to go back also to, to the other to the other webinar and uh, to double check uh, what's <laughs> what's not here now and robbie uh, and robbie has has linked that obviously in the okay. in the chat box already for that per, the first first uh, video so you guys can save that as well yeah okay thanks robbie uh we we, we said uh, that uh, ray studio 3 analysis is uh, supporting uh, multiple monitors and uh, here is uh, how you can uh, get uh, your your software to be split into two monitors this is uh, this applies to the database page uh, the database page that features a preview page on the in the right part uh, to to move this preview page into into another monitor you just have to drag and drop the the tab as uh, as uh, it is it is shown here in this zoomed part, uh, you drag these, uh, this this tab and you drag onto a new a new monitor, and uh, the result uh, what what would be the result uh, is uh, in this slide, in which uh, in the in one monitor you will, you'll have the the preview window, uh, and in the other one you will have the the whole database. Uh, I think uh, maybe more important uh, than uh, with the database, uh, it, it can be done with uh, with the analysis part. You can the same way you can uh, drag and drop uh, a tab from uh, from the main analysis window, and you, you drag it away and drop it into another another monitor, or just outside the the, the race view tree window, and it would be uh, it would be the Ray Studio 3 will be creating a new, a new window with the only with the only tab you 
you drag it away. You can, in case you have multiple tabs here, you can uh, you can drag them from one from one window to, to the other one, and, and vice versa. And if you want to go back to the to the original uh, to original uh, layout, you just have to uh, drag the tab back into into the main window. You just you, you just just have to drop into the into the main window, and it will be placed back in the original position. Perfect. Perfect. Okay, uh, let's go on. Okay. Let me uh, let me let me mm -hmm. intro this okay. one a little bit, Ed, and um, the yeah, uh, sure. and just so everybody knows, uh, Emiliano is is in Italy, and the and he, there is a bit of a delay. So it, it, while the slides are coming up fairly quickly, I think he is having to wait. So, but uh, the uh, uh, let's talk about this 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 thing we're we're, we're calling Smart Sync, and it, this has been a this has been a question or a, a comment that has come up. Um, um, on a couple of you know Facebook uh, forums and, and and some other places and some and, and emails to me and and uh, and of course to uh, to our support staff of how does this work where the uh, where the video that you've got your data file you've got your smarty cam video we're syncing them together we're going to look at that in, in even more detail here in a moment but what people have been asking well how does it do that does it take every single you know, millisecond of of a GPS coordinate in every slide of uh, you know every screen capture of a video at 30 frames per second at uh, you know 20 miles an hour, and do, does it do every one of them, or you know how, how does this pro how does this process work? So, what we thought would be good is if we took a minute and uh, and just give you an idea of why is Smart Sync important, and how does it basically work. And, and the balance of, of speed of your computer and having you know up to eight video files open and eight data eight laps and uh, and, and having it work smoothly and and, uh, and well even on older computers versus you know brand new hot rods so we wanted to give you an idea of how this kind of works so what Emiliano is going to go through and, and he's got a, just a, a picture of a, of a of a track with a couple of corners two or three corners and he's going to show you that when when you drive you're of course you're not on a perfect line right and 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 sometimes you run around the outside edge of a course and you have now gone farther with your car more traveled distance and it's important for us to still keep that uh, those videos and uh, and the data points exactly synced not not only that, but then also multiple laps synced in the same spot, and then we're we're looking for the headings and some other things to to help you driver coach better. So, Emiliano is going to go through this process of the of the way that they have worked out this this deal, and and uh, and it seems to be working pre, you know, pretty darn well. And uh, so, Emiliano, if you just explain what Smart Sync is is truly doing. Yeah. I prepared this drawing uh, as I saw a, a lot of uh, a lot of feedbacks asking for uh, for, uh, for for uh, information about about the sync. Yeah. Uh, I just uh, I just draw uh, a part of an ideal part of a of a track, very a very basic drawing as as I'm like a, like a kid while, while I while I draw. <laughs> it's better than I could do so. Okay, no problem. Uh, and uh, in this uh, ideal uh, ideal track, I draw two lines uh, that uh, one the green one with uh, with a possible with uh, with a possible mistake. Uh, two driven lines inside the inside the, this uh, this track. I think, I think I'm the green so, line, and and probably Matt Romanowski was the red line. I think that's probably what it was, right? <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, let, let's let's uh, take take the the, the driven lines uh, away and suppose in the in the center we have uh, we ha we have a, a, the, the black line that's uh, that's taken by 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 the aim data aim track database and uh, being this the track if uh, if we can imagine to draw some uh, perpendicular lines uh, derived by by the by the track. Uh, by the track line, and uh, just uh, place back the driven lines uh, on this uh, on this drawing. We can imagine that uh, the whole uh, the, the the three corners can be divided in, into into sectors that I numbered here one, one two three up to nine. Uh, suppose we we compute uh, the intersection between these ideal perpendicular lines and uh, the, the driven lines and the place those intersections into uh, into a time distance plot and this is what uh, what we are truly doing into into the software so 
these uh, these two lines will be up to here in uh, point one and two and, and and all of them. You you see that we are syncing all the most important point of the of, of the track uh, together, and uh, we we can see that uh, after line six starting from uh, line three to line six uh, we don't, we are not uh, uh, moving the uh, the differences over over the over the line six so the differences will be will be prompted into to you exactly from line two to line six and nothing will uh, be affecting uh, the the time distance plot after the six and before and before the two and this is uh, different uh, from what uh, we did into the Ray Studio 2 analysis, and I think this, this is more effective uh, for, uh, for, our, uh, for our aim of comparing, uh, of comparing two labs. Yeah, and what, uh, and what, what your drawing has here is, is, a, is a wild mistake, right? A substantially yeah, different sure. driven line, obviously. But, it's, uh, but it, it is the exact same thing that happens even if you're only you know, two or three feet off of line is, yeah, is sure. the car has a, a longer driven distance, which is in Ray Studio 2, then we had to, you know, it didn't adjust itself really, you know, as, as well or certainly as often. So this, and, uh, in this particular case, this, this is going to allow, the software is going to, to, to make sure you're aligned at so mm -hmm. many points around the track. Yeah. We call it smart sync. And, uh, and what we do, and what we do when you when you place a cursor on the time distance plot is that we we compute the, the cursor position. We go interpolating into the into the GPS driven line uh, to have the exact uh, the exact match uh, for for the position for the vehicle position. And we go selected in selecting into the into the video window the closest frame, the closest video frame that uh, that matches the the cursor position. There you That's go. what we do. Perfect. And and um, the how many of these little slices? The, the you know you've got nine here on these three corners, right? Uh, how how often are these out there? How 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 much stretching happens I mean, in between I mean, these? Uh, we have we have been tuning uh, the number of these uh, of these uh, small slices in order to match uh, different needs of uh, computing power and uh, and uh, accuracy, and I think uh, we we found a good uh, a good placement. The number of of uh, small slices is uh, around uh, hundred. Uh, it, it depends. It depends on uh, on a, a few things. It's it's not a, a given number. It depends on track length. It depends on uh, on uh, the frequency of the data. It depends on a couple of parameters. But, but roughly, it's uh, the number is uh, roughly one hundred. So it truly is a is a smart sync. It's adjusting itself. And then you and I chatted a, a little bit over the last couple of days that. You know, this is something that you're you're keeping your eye on very closely, and if the if the need arises, yeah. you, we, we we tweak this right, and we make this yeah, we, where we, we can, in the end yeah. it will be something that works very well. Yeah, we, we can tweak a little bit to to do something more or something less. Uh, I think we we found a very good balance, uh, and uh, we are very uh, we are hearing uh, positive comments uh, on, on this. Uh, we we are we are also hearing some uh, some negative uh, negative comments uh, for uh, for some cases in which it didn't work at the first uh, at, at the first uh, chance, but uh, we have been doing in these uh, in these two weeks uh, a number of uh, of fixes, and uh, I'm rather sure most of the cases uh, that we 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 heard about are are now okay, and uh, I mean. We are. We cannot. Uh, we cannot fix some uh, some uh, old cases uh, of uh, s some cases of uh, data recorded with the uh, older version of uh, of firmware. But, uh, updating the firmware uh, will be fixing uh, these uh, issues for for the next uh, for the next uh, sessions. Perfect. The, for those of you that are using the, the beta, again, as we talked about early. Uh, uh, 
last time when we when we announced this and and made the the beta available this should not be your your only product you go to the track with obviously this is a this is a, it, it's a fairly reduced on the functionality i mean it gives you some of the basic things and, and it certainly the video data integration is is, is pretty darn good but uh, you uh you, you probably ought to still have ray studio 2 sitting there and running and and and, and looking at uh, you know some of the other functions that aren't ready in, in ray studio 3 beta but the um the key here is when it comes to smart sync, I have found it to be pretty darn good, but make sure that if you're going to go to the track this coming weekend, make sure you check the, uh, the firmware updates. I, we, we'll talk about that in a moment, but make sure you're checking those and make sure you have the latest smarty cam firmware and the, and the latest firmware on your, uh, on your data logger, because that is, uh, is a critical part of, uh, of this good syncing is, is some of the, some of the fixes have been in there and in race studio three. So make sure you do that. And then just to say it one more time, the, the balance of, the amount of off, how often we, we, we are making sure that these things are synced up is, is a balance of somebody that's gonna use, you know, eight, eight laps that are active from three different tests and, 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 a, and, a, and a 10 year old laptop, right? So we, if we were to go in there and do this every, you know, every 10th of a second, and make these slices extremely tiny. Yet the end result might be slightly better, uh, not, not a ton, but slightly. But the computer power would be uh, w would be huge, and uh, and we would have delay when you drag your mouse across. Right now, when you're going to Ray Studio Three, and you can have I've had uh, you know four four laps open, and I'm just dragging back and forth with my mouse, and it's instantaneous. The the video is 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 synced perfectly, and it, and it's working just as fast as I can move the mouse. And uh, and that's the and that's the balance that uh, Emiliano and the software team have worked on is to to make this thing as lightweight as possible, but yet get the results that we're after. So I just wanted to mention that one more time. So yep. okay, so let's go ahead. Let's go to the next one. Oh, the the, the use of uh, smart sync uh, I think would be would be good for for the for the dirt ovals and the, and, the, and in and, a in a few weeks we can. Uh, we can be back speaking about it. Yeah, and the, uh, the and this is just a great example of the, people use use our, our our software and our hardware in so many different forms of racing. If, if whether dirt oval, where over here on the on the left edge of your screen, the the driving line might be one person's right up on the cushion and one person's down low. Well, you know, darn if they didn't go around that that half of the oval, and it's you know it's a uh, seventy five feet difference in travel distance, right? So th this is a uh, think about this smart sync as being used in a bunch of different ways. You know, motocross tracks, off road trucks. You know, uh, the, uh, yeah. and of course, the road racing and and, uh, and some of the different things we do, uh, and with a lot of you guys that have sports cars. So we keep having uh, having uh, a lot of application in our minds. <laughs> exactly, <laughs> exactly. Perfect. So, uh, just a couple of slides uh, coming uh, coming uh, out of uh, of feedbacks we had. Uh, uh, the import of videos, uh, we said that uh, the link of data and video is uh, is automatic uh, in, in our software, and it's true. Uh, but the import of videos is not is not automatic. You uh, you need to to download the data from uh, from the SD card or from, or if you are very brave from from the Smarticam. <laughs> Uh, very brave because only because it's uh, it's a, it's a little bit slower than, yeah. than uh, downloading directly from the SD card because uh, when you download from the SD card the the PC accesses some uh, some faster faster APIs and so it's uh, it's way faster. Uh, you you need to to plug in the the SD card into the into your PC and go to the download page of the of the Ray Studio Three. And when you when you download the videos, uh, as uh, as it's shown here into into the into this uh, slide, uh, when you download the videos, they will be automatically imported into the, into the database using uh, using this version of the using the 08 version of the of the beta, and uh, they will be linked to to the to the sessions if you already downloaded from the the, the XRK from a few your device. So. Uh, Please keep in mind that uh, you need to download the two things: uh, the the data from the from the device and the MOV file from uh, from the smarticam or better from the SD card. Uh, another another thing I want uh, uh, I want to to point out is that in the among the preview, and this is a thing that uh, we didn't 
we did not uh, speak about uh, the last uh, last time. When the preview, you have a window that's dedicated to, to videos, and uh, I think uh, the power of this is that you can go selecting uh, selecting uh, labs in the top uh, in the top list, and uh, labs will be shown here in the in the bottom of the in the bottom of, of this preview page. It's I think pretty useful to look for for data before opening them for. To the analysis, uh, the analysis page. I agree. Uh, well, before we before we move on to that next one, Emiliano, the uh, Bob Seville in, in the chat box mentioned he hasn't been able to get video and data to sync together. Videos not importing. So there was a couple of small bugs, Bob, that um, that uh, Emiliano has fixed in this latest version. Um, Please, yeah. please try it again, and uh, if not, let's get together and uh, let's one-on-one you know, uh, yeah. -on -one Zoom meeting and let's uh, let, let's figure out why that's happening on your machine. So uh, absolutely, and uh, absolutely. The, yeah, yeah. Let, let's get together and uh, and understand why why it's not happening. Perfect, and uh, you know why uh, why we're uh, taking just a. Well, Emiliano's looking at that. I'd like to launch a poll. It's something that we've uh, sure. we, we came up with a couple of polls that I'd uh, I'd like everybody to take a look at. Uh, this one here is um, this one's multiple choice, and I'm just asking you for what are, what are your what are the the two best features that um, um, hopefully that's up and running. What selecting two of these? What are, what are the the two things that you you like the most with the new Ray Studio three uh, analysis versus the the two? The um, you, you just got a few of them there. Of course, we always give you the other in and detail it in the chat box if there's something else that you that you have found that. Uh, is really important to you, but uh, uh, data video sync obviously is one of the ones. Uh, the so a couple of the other choices, better layout for analysis windows. Emiliano, you know, kind of showed a little bit of how that uh, can be set up personally. Multiple windows over multiple monitors. That's uh, that's obviously important to some. Automatic track and event recognition. We haven't talked about that today, but that was a big piece of what we talked about in our first in our first video. Preview window. Emiliano just showed another power of the of that video, and of course the databasing, that is uh, super powerful now. So, we'll let that go for just a couple more, uh, just just another ten or fifteen seconds, and then we're going to talk about um, some additional documentation that has been put together and uh, and and ready for you to take a look at and uh, and start to depend on. So, let's uh, let's end that polling here now, and let's share the results real quickly, just so everybody can kind of see. The, um, the the number one thing that everybody has uh, enjoyed the most, which is you know kind of what we would kind of expect, is the data and the video syncing. That is such a uh, such a powerful tool that uh, that everybody is into that. The uh, uh, and I always kind of repeat some of these results. Everybody's looking at it, but uh, uh, YouTube uh, later does not show this this screen. So uh, the the second one is uh, multiple windows. Being able to open that up and have multiple windows and uh, even multiple uh, uh, monitors, right, and and be able to spread your data across and have different things and and work it. That's an important feature to a lot of these folks, and. Um, uh, a lot of the folks that are here today. And then number three was better layout for analysis windows. And uh, and then automatic track and event recognition, the preview windows right there as well. So um, there I, were... saw, I saw many people in the chat uh, quoting the GP, the web mapping for, from Google. Ah, perfect, perfect. Yeah, that was not well, that was not in the poll. <laughs> ah, it was probably I probably should have the the um having that uh, that real time um, map in the background, uh, aerial imagery in the background is a uh, is a is a pretty cool thing. So let's uh, let's stop sharing those results real quickly, and um and we'll have another poll here towards the end, uh, and just to get get your ideas, but um, on a couple of other subjects. Um, Emiliano, the next thing that um that uh, we might want to chat about. The, uh, there are a few questions that we'll, we'll get to your questions here in, in just a little bit. The, uh, the yeah. next thing we want to chat about is, uh, is some manuals and documentation that's been, uh, been fixed up. What, uh, what do you got yeah, there? Yeah, we, we, we set together a web page in which, uh, in which I, I started uh, placing some, uh, some, uh, some ideas uh, on how to use the software. They, this is uh, guiding me also in, in uh, understanding what's, uh, what's good or, or, and, and what's bad into the, into the software. Uh, in, in some parts, it's, it's, it's uh, still uh, under construction, but uh, it will be, it will be, I will be adding personally information here in, in the next uh, days, so will be ready very soon. Uh, here is the, the web page. You can uh, access it uh, either from the US website or from, from the Italian one. Uh, and uh, here it is. 
So right. let's go. Let's go ahead rather quickly. You and... Should be able to click on it. There you go. Oops, you jumped okay. two of them. Oh, okay. Let me. I'll please, go, back, go back. There you go. There you go. There's your feedback okay. screen. Oh, the, the feedback. It's uh, it's really important for 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 us to have uh, to have the feedback. So we have uh, roughly. We arrived uh, roughly to 1,000. I think it's uh, some numbers more than 1,000 uh, registered users, and uh, I've been I've been having uh, 300 and more emails uh, in the last three in the last three weeks. I I, I should have answered all of them, but <laughs> maybe if I forgot uh, someone, uh, please forgive me and uh, and uh, write uh, write again. <laughs> Yeah, that feedback is, is super important to us. The, uh, and uh, and yeah. I said it a little bit earlier, but please continue on. Software at aims-sportline.com is, is, is we must have you send it to, to them. You can CC it to me or Robbie or put it on Facebook or whatever, but please, whatever you do, uh, make sure that uh, the note either goes uh, as a straight email to software or as the, uh, the, uh, the feedback upload data to AIM uh, screen that he's going to show here in just a moment. Yeah, one of, one of the difficulties we, we notice uh, with the feedbacks is that uh, we, we normally, when, when we receive a feedback, we normally uh, need the data to understand what's, uh, what's happening on this, uh, in this case because we are, uh, we are uh, tweaking uh, all, so some uh, specific cases and we, we, need, uh, we need data. And one of the difficulties is, uh, is that we noticed that that's, there was no way to, to, upload, uh, to upload data to us. Uh, we introduced it. Uh, so you can just select, uh, you can be selected just uh, one, two sessions, the ones you want to, to share with us, being them uh, uh, data or video. And uh, with the cocket wheel, choose uh, upload uh, items to, to AIM server. And uh, it will prompt you for, for a message in which you can, uh, you can type uh, what's the problem and you can, you can detail it a little bit. You just click OK. You will get a confirmation email to, to once the upload of the data is completed. It can take a little bit of time if you if you upload the MOV files, but uh, the the email will be reaching you only only when it's completed. Okay. And then data will uh, will come to us, and uh, we we normally answer in some some days. If I can, some hours. If I cannot, it's, uh, it's uh, some days. Uh, and another, another thing we had uh, through feedbacks is that uh, many, many of the customers noticed that uh, in, the, in the web updates page of the software, of the beta software, there were some different, uh, some different uh, firmware than uh, if compared to the, to the release, the official release. Uh, it's it's due to the fact that uh, that we have two distribution channels for uh, for the release and for the beta in order for us to being able to test uh, some uh, some beta firmware when when we want. Uh, I now I aligned uh, I aligned all the all the firmware to the latest to the latest uh, version available in the release, so they they should appear uh, the, the same now. Uh, but my my advice is uh, to use uh, always the the distributory release, so the white icon on the on your desktop when uh, when you needed to do some uh, some uh, firmware update of the of your devices, uh, unless you are told to test uh, a beta version of the of the firmware. Now they are now they are the same, but um, in the future, please take this as a general uh, rule. Okay. I, I, okay. Okay. Perfect. We, we, we finish the slide. We, we, we can go to the to the live software and the show. Perfect. Let me uh, let me do a different share here and. Um, or maybe I I'd, I'd like to to answer a couple of yeah. questions. In yeah. The, why why you start that? Why I start the process of uh, opening Ray Studio three? Okay. Can you see, can you see some of them? The, the the first question I see is uh, Nicholas. Uh, Nicholas asks for a Gantt chart uh, of, uh, of the next function will it be introducing in the RS3 analysis. Uh, we, we, have, we have plans uh, on, uh, on the features that we are introducing. Uh, 
sharing uh, sharing again chart would be would be difficult to me because uh, for for example in the last uh, in the last two weeks uh, we have been uh, we have been fixing bugs in order to in order to to fix all, all the all the things that uh, all the issues that uh, our customer were having and, uh, so we, we could not be uh, creating new new features or completing what uh, what we plan so it's it's kind of difficult to, to us uh, to, to share a, to share a, a gun chart but for sure in the I, I see that uh, that Nicolas' con main main uh, worries are, are about the main concerns are, are about uh, match channels, and uh, I, I can I can tell Nicolas that uh, match channels is one of the first uh, things that we are we are introducing in the last uh, in, in the next uh, in the next uh, webinars. Uh, I, I can see Bruce's uh, question. Something will be able to say not take as much info on the streets and concentrate on break zones, course. Uh, track out. I'm, I mean, I, I'm in you know, a little bit of difficulties understanding this. Uh, what, what he's basically saying there is, is yeah, you're breaking it up into you know a hundred segments for the track. Maybe you do more segments in corners and less corners, less segments oh, on straightaways. And it's just a tip on on and maybe ways to make it even better. Yet. At, at the mo at that. the moment is at the moment is not uh, like this. We the yeah we, we can uh, we can be tweaking a little bit. Uh, Slides are, are not uh, divided uh, on, on a constant pace. Uh, we, we change it a little bit uh, from straight, light, uh, straight lines to, to corners. Okay. And maybe we can, uh, we can get better doing, okay. uh, doing something more basing on, uh, on other parameters for sure. Uh, the CXV experts, uh, as Eric is, uh, is asking, is possible if I can, uh, if I can use the software. I, 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 Briefly, can uh, can show how to. Uh, and uh, Elaine's last question is: Is the track sectors? Uh, you'll see sometimes no, you see I, the I, track I, sectors I, across the top, but it's uh, right uh, now that's just, not just, something that's uh, fully fully actionable yet. No, we don't. We don't have uh, the, the track sector. No, I mean, I mean, we kind of have track sectors uh, when uh, when the track is uh, automatically recognized in the time distance plot uh, track sectors are, are available like in this case you cannot uh, you cannot modify them and uh, we are we will be working on uh, on this feature very soon uh, but when once the track is uh, is uh, recognized the the sectors will be will be shown for sure uh, if if I can have the the control of the of the software. I'd, I'd like to show the the C. Oh, okay. okay. There you so go. I have it. Okay. I'd like to show the where to find the CXV export. Uh, you need to go. You need to go here. Conversion of files. So you need to go to batch conversion, and you select the files. Uh, you select the CXV CSV export. And you just. Uh, once you select a file, once you you select the format to which uh, to which you want to export, here it will appear you a button that will say convert, and you hitting hitting that button, the conversion will be done for the files uh, or for the for all the files uh, you you choose. But as this of right a, now, we don't have the option of doing just a single functions export like we do a lot in Ray Studio Two. But in time, I'm sure that function will be there as well. Yeah, it will be added for sure. At the moment, we don't. We don't. But uh, it's, okay. it's a thing you can accomplish doing uh, doing this. It's, uh, Other way. It's, uh, okay. Pretty valuable. Perfect. So maybe you could work work your way around a little bit. There was a, I saw one question to show some of the stuff you already mm -hmm. showed, making the window smaller or bigger, uh, adding a window, do, do a couple of those things. And then I, I had, uh, I, I did see a question go by as, as something, uh, the basic thing of even adding a channel and taking a channel away from the, from the measures graph. Yeah, sure. A adding, uh, adding a, a channel is uh, as simple as uh, clicking here. Clicking here a channel, I just uh, I just add added the, the, the uh, it's very it's very it's very small on my screen, but I think it's a real rate. Exactly. Yep. <laughs> uh, and the way you get those off of there, you can do it either up above 
where the channels actually yeah, need to go or clicking yeah. on it in the main in the main part you can below. you can either click uh, click the channel uh, here where where you exactly where you added or if i'm adding this back you can uh, you can click also up here and it will be it away. will be disappearing here on the top we have we have all the meaningful uh, channels where for meaningful we want to, to to mean the channels that are shown here on the on the time and distance uh, distance window uh, all the channels that are that are shown here are are placed on the top if you don't want this behavior because you, you maybe don't like it you can move to you can Click this button, channels here, and the, the the list will not be will not be moving in order to accomplish the in order to have the meaningful uh, ones uh, on, on top. Yeah, this is the channels button is more like uh, current Ray Studio two. A absolutely, it's uh, it, it's it's to be thought uh, to be a replacement of uh, Ray Studio two. Uh, what else? Oh, okay, we were about uh, showing how to how to. Modify, modify the layout. You can, uh, you see, you see if you go. Uh, maybe I think it's better yeah, if you do this for, because yeah. uh, hard for you on this one is a delay. Yeah. So when you mm -hmm. hover over that splitter bar, you see how the the cursor just changed, and it might be small on some of your guys's windows as well. But you'll see that it changes to two little lines and two double headed arrow. Then you can push and hold your left mouse button, and you can drag that over, and 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 resize everything, right? So the, uh, the, the ability to make these the sizes that you want that works for you. So if we added a second lap, sometimes I try to size them where these, these guys are you know, in a nice, nice size where we can see them well, right? And if we, uh, and where if we were over here, you know, they'd be pretty darn small. So you'll end up using this little sizing button uh, you know, bar quite a bit. Mm -hmm. Yep, sure. Okay. Uh, we, we, you should I would to like to show control. what, uh, yeah. okay. 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 Okay, it's coming. Okay, it's this a, is this is the window that we were we were showing in the in the slides. Uh, we can add the uh, add the channel here, and uh, what we sh we have been showing into into the slides was uh, was this procedure, was these uh, steps. I want I want to add a window here, time time distance uh, window. So we choose to add the window on the bottom of, uh, of this one. I click it on. Uh, the window will be added uh, by, by the by the view tree, and clicking the choose button, we are going to be choosing the time distance, and I click OK. And the time distance will be here, showing uh, showing the two the two labs uh, that uh, were uh, selected down, down here. Uh, it's uh, rather simple, and if you want to save it, you can. Uh, just go here and click uh, save profile and uh, it will be saved uh, this way for, for, from now on. Uh, do you want to show uh, anything? Okay, another basic, uh, another basic function that we can uh, show is... Uh, there it is, there it okay. is. Okay, here it is. If you, if you enter here in the search bar and some, some letters that uh, that are part of a channel name or are part of a, of a channel unit, so we can uh, we can enter MPH or whatever. If if uh, if what you enter here is part of a name uh, of the channel or of the units, uh, you will be prompting here only the channels that uh, that you are looking for, and it's I think it's very very useful to find uh, to find uh, the, the channels you want to show. I want to show now the GPS speed, so it will be added here on the meaningful channel. I want to remove this that I was selecting a second ago. Uh, so it will be. You, you see that uh, having uh, having the sync between uh, between data and video is easy, easy from now on. Uh, just add uh, just add another lab, and uh, you we can show we can show. How how powerful it is! Maybe we can be adding also here down here a track map. It's uh it's hesitating for a second. Ooh, ooh, it may have. Okay. Uh, Whoops! It we went. May have, we may have uh, I done think. It. <laughs> yeah. No, I think I think it's uh it's when I operate by by this. Yeah. Uh, 
the worst part in it because I, I don't know exactly where yeah it's where still wor the worst part is it's still working on my screen so let me uh let me see if i can get zoom to to, to yeah. work um maybe take a look at the questions there and see if there's something you can yeah, answer sure. there as i bring uh as i try to fix it real quickly mm -hmm. go ahead uh, track sectors, uh, I would like to be able to get data of when we are entering into a total math. Uh, yep, in the, in the math channels, we can, uh, we can consider now, uh, I'm, I'm already testing the math channel engine uh, on, on, my, on my developer version, and uh, we, we, can, uh, we can consider splits and uh, as well as labs uh, to, to, to get some, uh, some data out of, uh, out of them, and uh, so, Sure, sure, you, you will be able to. Uh, sorting the other channel on uh, how to display, which is that, so, okay. Yeah, we, it's a thing we already planned. We planned the, the possibility to, to create groups of channels, so to be able to, uh, to show high the groups of channel uh, instead of a one per, one per, per time. And uh, in these groups, uh, there will be for sure the, the sorting, uh, the sorting possibility. Uh, can you name the profile? No, at the moment not, but uh, for sure it will be, it will be there. Uh, at the moment, we we also have one only profile, and the profiles uh, dif different profiles will be will be added in the, in the future. Sure. Uh, what is the gray line in track window? Oh, okay. The gray line in the track window is uh, is the the track map. It's, it's a track we we have uh, we have in the database. Okay, you want to? <laughs> I, I just uh, just I had a, a second to read it that he wants to uh, to to get rid of this. Okay, would be will be in the settings in <laughs> in, okay. few, in in two three releases. <laughs> okay. So, it would be there. The Some people really like that, and other people it bothers them. So it, yeah, uh, yeah that's one of those that would be a great thing to have a setting on. Yeah, sure, no problem. Okay, okay while we're uh, while, while we're thinking about a couple of other ones, let's let's try another let's try another poll real quickly. It's our it's our last poll, and um, any, any more follow up questions? Make sure you get into the Q and A box here in just a moment. This one here is. Um, Based on your early experiences, and, and this is a not a multiple answer one, so you have to you can only pick one. But based on your early beta experiences, what are your overall thoughts of the data video sync function? Is it working well for you? Is there anything that um, that uh, that we can chat about? Um, obviously, you can go to the other and 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 throw something into the into the chat box. But uh, how's it been working for you? Give me a give give us a a, a bit of an idea. The uh, uh, Bob's question, I think you answered Bob's question, right, on the sorting of the orders channels, the order of channels and how to display on the graph. I graphs. think I did. Okay, perfect. If not, uh... One thing that I know you didn't, um, that I think you skipped over that while that, I like that poll to run for just a moment, you had this config button that's over here that, um, that uh, you can sort the channels in, in a in a slightly different way than, uh, than, than, than that. You can go by configuration or you can go by alphabetically or the uh, or by the channel type, which is then bringing out the solo channels, the ECU channels, and, and some other things. That's available to you right now as well, which is I find that to be a pretty handy uh, handy button. So keep yeah, it's, it's the same sorting uh, possibilities that we we have in the live measure window. Perfect. Okay, let's uh, let me let me end that poll and let's uh, let's take a look at uh, what everybody thinks. And let's share those results. And the, the, the sharing of those results is the uh, other, uh, and I haven't looked over at the, at the chat box yet, but other is 37%. That's what happens when I only give one choice, right? Uh, people, I, I really, I want to give them more detail than what uh, they gave me. So perfect, perfect, and I enjoy that. I find it easy to use and understand. It, uh, it, when you're able to get the, the video to come in correctly, and, and that's been fixed, uh, a lot of that's been fixed in this last version, it really is an automated process. So, if, uh, of course, just opening up multiple apps, it just opens up, right? So, uh, the, the next one is, it has worked okay for me. Was it 19%? Uh, I cannot get it to work. Eleven, probably more or less, I suppose. And maybe you can add in uh, into the into the chat box. Probably more because of a video import process is yeah. would be my guess, uh, or older firmware where it wasn't syncing up correctly. Those were the two things that we uh, that we found 
a problem. And I would like to know more about, I would like it to be more immediate. Um, I'd like to understand if that's a delay, if, is, you know, please, please provide software at aimsportline.com some feedback on that. That would be great if, uh, if it's slow or if it's slow in loading or, or what, what exactly is the, is the question there would be nice. So, okay. Emiliano, as I close that one up, we've got a couple more uh, questions there and we're, we're approaching our top of the hour. So we'll get a couple more questions and then we'll, uh, we'll call it a day. Okay. He says that uh, you cannot attach a channel sorting to a profile. Yes. Yes, he's right. Uh, okay. Okay. I have not tried that. So that's a, uh, we'll have, but, but coming, I suppose, right? Uh, Emiliano, that is, that is future, uh, will be a future feature, I suppose, right? Yeah, great to have the video that I think for viewing, but the time the main connection is different between the smart and the, uh, the same video. Uh, we we go we go we go check it further. Okay. For, for this, sure. Uh, Elaine, make sure you. I, what I, I there's two things that I I see in that one. I'm going to go back to the to the to this and open up um let's go to what you can what can happen is your smarty cam can actually start at a different time and so you'll end up with a, a slightly different time here if you show these uh separated out in this particular case it was 331 on both but uh, sometimes if you have your smarty cam set to only start gathering you know data when you're above 20 miles per hour or something of course, the start time of your Smarty Cam file will be different than the start time uh, the, uh, in in this uh, in this list. But the video will sync properly, and everything will be fine. the uh, The other thing that he that I'm that I'm thinking he might be talking about as well is you can have a time of the exact GPS time here, and it will be slightly different on the time that you have overlaid on the video. I have found that there are seconds difference occasionally, especially if the GPS and the clock on the Smarty Cam is not synced perfectly with the data. It hasn't had enough time, right? You just turned it on and, and it hasn't synced itself yet. So I have seen those two time differences. Anything uh, you would want to add on that one, Emiliano? Uh, I, I'd, I'd like to, to see the files to, to identify the, the exact reason. It, it shouldn't happen, but uh, I, cannot, I cannot exclude it happened. Uh, Sometimes. Perfect. Elena, I know you will to... send me the files. So we, <laughs> we go deeper. <laughs> exactly. Please, Elaine, uh, if you find something like that or anybody else that's listening, make sure that you uh, um, gra grab the video files and the, and, the, and the data files and send them in to us. Okay. So I got that one there. Any, uh, anything else you would like to add, Emiliano? I'm going to go back to the PowerPoint presentation. To, if, uh, maybe you can uh, add a couple no, more things I... as I share that back. I, I, th I think uh, we said uh, a lot of things. Uh, anyway, for any, any, any questions, please Perfectly. let us know and uh, we will be answering. Again, the, the, uh, here is that, if you, go to the, if you go to the AIM website now, either the Italian mm -hmm. one or the, or the North American one, you, if you go to the software page, you'll see it's slightly different now. The, uh, the, the beta is here. You don't have a, a download button like we've had uh, up until today you're going to, you'll have a download page. It'll take you to that a special page where you actually see that, um, that document yeah. we were looking at earlier. And we modified uh, it a, a little bit because we, we got complaints uh, on people uh, erroneously downloading the beta instead of the race to the tree. Yeah, it was the top button for downloading and that probably wasn't, uh, you know, people would just come in and click download and yeah, they were getting so, that so, <laughs> instead of so the regular standard version. We modified it a little bit to, to, to be sure that uh, it's properly downloaded. Yeah, but if you want it, you're gonna, you have to you know make sure you push the right button. So that that's good. The um, um, uh, just a couple more things as we're on our on our way out. Uh, the uh, you know, this video will be up on on YouTube um, w within an hour or so. This is we have 101 videos out there. Once we uh, once we uh, 102. Once we add this one here, so uh, looking forward to that. The um, uh, make sure you go there and watch this. If you if we ran through anything a little bit too quick, make sure you go back and uh, and and watch it. Um, customer support, boy, we're, uh, you know, um, I, I know our guys have just been out on the road going like crazy and, um, uh, and everybody, all of our, all of our users, all of you guys here are, are, are getting back out to the track and that's, uh, that, that is so great. I'm happy to hear that for most everybody. So if you need any help and if you see us at the track, make sure you stop by, say hi, uh, give us a call at the 800 number. That's, uh, that's another great way. And of course the email, the, um, 
uh, the next webinar. Let, let's chat about that one, and then I'll have one more closing thought about uh, a couple things that uh, to do with Ray Studio 3 you know, beta. But the, the next one, I've gotten a lot of uh, feedback uh, about um, Dirt Oval, you know, Dirt uh, Oval Racing, number one, and then, of course, Dirt Oval uh, as a specific form. And, and, and so we're going to bring in a fella, a good friend of mine for a long time, uh, Tom, Tom Harris. Um, Tom, Tom's going to come in and join us on Thursday, and we're going to talk about dirt oval data analysis tips. Now, I don't want to, all of you guys that run sports cars or motorcycles or carts to, uh, uh, to, to run off. I think you ought to join us. There's, um, at the end of the day, data it really is data. And some of the tips that Tom has learned about doing things on dirt oval He's had to work around some problems that some of you maybe haven't uh, maybe haven't found uh, and haven't had to work around very often, and and some of his tips uh, will work across all different forms of motorsports. So, the um, uh, I, I suggest that you uh, go ahead and visit with us on on um, on Thursday, and uh, and and listen to some of the stuff that Tom is going to talk about uh, dirt oval you know, karting, dirt oval off road. It's some of the hardest data to work with because it's. Uh, you know, your whole different lines and you're in your, you know, you've got the dirt slowing you down, you've got traction issues, you got braking, it's, you know, sometimes it's a, you don't drive a, a conventional line and, and other things like that. So Tom's going to talk a lot about uh, that. And of course, vehicle health in the, in the, uh, is going to be a bit of a focus, right? Uh, you got to finish these, these dirt uh, uh, off-road motocross you know those kind of things you got to finish races so a lot of those guys use a, a pretty heavy emphasis on that one third uh, that is vehicle health and uh, so we'll, we'll probably talk quite a bit about that as well so please join us uh, join us with Tom on uh, on Thursday that will be a fun time I think uh, I will not be missing it exactly it's always it's always a good time the um, yeah. and, and and finally one more time just to make sure that um, I, I just want to hit it again make sure that you that, there's the uh, there's the software address with uh, under Emiliano's name software at aim-sportline.com the the race the race studio 3 beta has been going extremely well this test has been going well tons of you guys have been giving us feedback like Emiliano said uh, over 300 emails and um, and all of them good and all of them giving us valuable information the more we get the faster we can fix the problems yeah, there's uh, the some of the new brand new features that we we, we hope to work on are, are you know we're we're fixing bugs and making things work really well, and that's going to pay off in spades as we as we move forward. So continue to give us that feedback. Uh, you know, CC me if you wish, uh, but certainly uh, Software Dame Sportline is is the most important contact. Miliano and his team get those emails directly, and they uh, and they get to work on them right away. And uh, they'll probably you need to be ready. They'll probably, if it's not some just a, some functionality thing, they're going to ask you for the data in the video. So make uh, maybe make sure you just send that uh, with with the note. That would be helpful. So um, yes, David Smith Oval Dirt Racers are are, uh, are getting a little love. Uh, so I thought about you when we when we, when we were talking about it. The um, uh, David, you're going to you know in, in maybe in a, in a month or two, you'll be uh, co-hosting with me on a, on a Dirt Oval Cart one. So the uh, I appreciate it. Uh, I appreciate Robbie Robinson, Cameron, Brick the, in the background answering a lot of questions and taking care of a lot of stuff. I, I know that everybody's super busy, so I appreciate them coming. Appreciate you, Emiliano. I know it's a it's a lot of work. We've uh, uh, to put all this together. You guys are working, you know, just uh, heavy, heavy hours and a lot of work uh, on the on the beta itself. Anyway, on the programming side, let alone then coming and joining us and uh, and uh, putting together a program like this. And it is so important to us to have. Uh, to have the open sharing with with the users that are coming here and watching this and 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 we again promise that we will come back in two or three weeks and as we get more feedback and when it's when it's time and we can answer even more questions to be able to come back and uh, and continue this open open cycle of discussion and, and 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 making sure this is as good as it can be for anybody so anything you have uh, in closing emiliano I, as usual i have to thank all the people that uh, that's making questions so that uh, asking things uh, stuff uh, whatever mm -hmm. i truly thank uh, all, all of you absolutely all the things to say. And, and and again thank you very much for doing everything you're doing again everybody glad to have you here today look forward to seeing you all on thursday when we have our our, our first dirt oval uh, webinar but again it's a lot lots of tips and tricks are going to be in there that you can uh, transfer over to different forms of motorsports so looking forward to it thanks everybody for coming and we will see you in the, in, in the next webinar